everyone welcome back to my channel Jennifer and Diamonds I am Jennifer if you are new here uh, welcome on in and I hope you enjoy your stay um, today we are going to do a um, month in review for September um, so I have one finish and one work in progress so the finish is this skull it is uh, Make Market Michael's kit. Um, just, it just they just call it Skull. It is a 40.6 by 50.8 centimeter, uh, 27 colors with one glow in the dark, which is around the eyes, nose, and mouth. And it was approximately 25,276 round drills. I started it September 1st. And finished it on September 20th and it took me approximately 24 hours and 42 minutes so this one is actually framed now so it usually sits in my husband's office area down in the basement um, I did a post review on this but just a quick overview I did enjoy the kit um, there wasn't really any issues with it. I think there was a couple colors that, um, like the symbols were really close to each other. I think it was, I can't remember which they are now. I don't have the legend in front of me because I cut it off to fit it in the frame. There was tons of color blocking, especially in the four corners, like just all around the skull. There's just tons and tons of black. So there's that one. So Give that back to my husband later put it back on his wall and then the work in progress that i'm doing is this one which is another make market kit um you just call it pumpkin and it is the same size as the skull so it's like 40.6 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters it's just um more wide than tall there is uh, three um, glow-in-the-dark drills, so it's like the white in the eyes, the yellow, and the orange around the eyes that are all glow-in-the-dark. I will uh, try to get a picture of this and uh, post it here so you can see it all at once because I <laughs> can't see it all. I'm actually enjoying this kit a lot. It, um, it's been pretty fun. It's not as much black, obviously, um, compared to the skull one. And I'm really liking the expressions on the pumpkins' faces. And the background, for some reason, this background, every time I look at it, it reminds me of the Haunted Mansion ride at Disney. I don't know why. I, I, I'm pretty sure the one at Disney is more colorful in the background, but I don't know, it just reminds me of it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so those are the kits that I finished, well, the one kit I finished and the one I'm working on. And during the month of September, I was participating in three events, uh, Drills and Chills, uh, Diamond County Fair, and Fall DP Along, which is in a Facebook group that I'm in. Um, I will be participating in those three events again in November, or sorry, October, getting ahead of myself. Um, so my plans for October is to finish this kit, um, then I am doing um, Lily Lagoon by Dreamers Designs, and I will be posting an unboxing of that um, around the 10th-ish of September. Maybe, no, the 9th? I don't know, the Monday of that week, <laughs> I think it's the 9th. Um, and then near the end of the month, I'm planning to start the um, In the Arms of the Angel that I've been talking about in my weapon chats that I got to make for my mom for Christmas. And that unboxing will be coming later in October as well. And so I'm going to be working on Lily Goon and um, In the Arms of the Angel, which is a Mandy Manzano uh, dream, uh, Diamond Art Club kit. Um, together at the end of the month. I'm going to be doing both at the same time. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to get the um, 
the in the arms of the angel done fairly quickly so I can bring it to Michael's. It's, hopefully it's not going to be crazy expensive uh, to get it framed for my mom for Christmas. Um, so I think that is about it for this month in review. Nothing too exciting. Um, so if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and the bell to so be notified of future videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.